Hello, this is question five from paper two of the ordinary level Leaving Cert maths exam from 2020. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a playlist that has all my solutions to the questions in this paper. And below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question. So you can try it in your own time before looking at my solution. This question has a story about two swimmers swimming across a, well, it looks like a river, but it's a lake, because so there's no move. There's no water moving, but really it's all about triangles. Uh, so let me finish drawing this picture. They, they're both standing here at this point X. One swims this way with an angle of 55 degrees, and the other one goes this way, and we know how far he goes, uh, 200 meters. And now they do warn us this picture is not the, is not the scale or anything, which is good, because when we get the answer, it doesn't look right at all. Um, it should, well, we'll draw it again at the end to show you what it maybe should look like at the end. Um, so there's no hints in the picture here. They simply ask us to find the length this swimmer goes. That is part, part A. The length this swimmer goes, let's call that X. And then they ask us to find the angle this swimmer makes up here. And that's part B. So let's do both of them. Um, we'll do them separately, part A. How we do this is we notice that there's a triangle here. There's not this obvious triangle. There's a much uh, better one than that. If we draw a line down here, we get this right angle. Always be looking for right angles in these questions. And you're allowed to make, like I've done here, uh, we have this right angle, we have this is 55. Um, oh, we know this is 100, this side here. And we, we're looking for this side. Oh, it's quite important to remember what, what we're looking for in these questions, I, I think at least. So when we're dealing with right angles, we should keep these in mind. Sine theta is equal, well, let me leave the letters off because I like doing my little, my little song about them. Um, every, every school seems to have their own one. The one I learned is, oh hell, another hour of algebra. And I still say that in my head to remember them. Uh, although these are written in your book, we're just different letters. So the opposite over the hypotenuse, adjacent over the hypotenuse, all of that. So which of these is going to be useful here? Because we, we know three things. We know an angle, we know a right angle, and we know a length. We should be able to solve this. So here's our angle. So let's see, sine of this is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. All right, we're already found it. The first one is the one we want. It has everything... We either know or need. So sine 55 is equal to 100 divided by x. We know everything about this except x. So we can just move it around until we get x equals. So let's multiply both sides by x. Multiply this by x, it disappears. Multiply the left by x. And then uh, let's divide both sides by sine 55. It's just a number. It's a big, complicated looking number. Divide both sides by sine 55, that disappears. And this side, divide by sine 55. It's a bit of a mess here. I would do this in multiple lines probably. Nothing's left on the left except for x. There's 100 left over here, divided by sine 55. And that's a job for a calculator. Let me grab my notes here. The calculator tells me this comes out as 122. So this is the bit that now it's starting to look like, oh, this doesn't look right. 122 and 200. That's the, as far as I can see, that's the correct answer. And I'm glad they warned us that the diagram is not the scale. Because I don't feel as, as bad that it, it's very different than this. All right, so that's uh, the, the length here. Let's do a similar thing with this other person. We'll, we'll draw another triangle over here. Actually, let me draw it up here as well. I'm, just looking right there. Let's see what I know. I Well, I don't know, but I'm looking for this angle. I know this length. And I know this length, 100. So which of these works? Angle, uh, the opposite, and we have the hypotenuse. Again, it's sine again. So this just tells me sine of theta is equal to 100 divided by 200. Okay, we want theta on its own this time. So we need to get rid of the sine. It's not multiplying the theta. They're beside each other. It's, it's, it's a special thing. So how we, it's easy to destroy, multiply, we divide. It's easy to de destroy, divide, we multiply. 
It's easy to destroy plus, we take away, but how do we destroy a sign? We do it with a special inverse sign. Inverse sign here. And if we do it to the left, we better do it to the right. Remember, we're always fair. That will destroy the sign. So we're left with theta is equal the inverse sign of 100 divided by 200. Or I guess 1 divided by 2. They both divide by 100. Okay, most students are just used to sine turns into sine minus 1. That's fine, but this is why it happens. And you can put this in your calculator, although this is a famous one. A half is a famous number. comes out as 30 degrees. So if we drew this picture properly, um, well, let me do it here. That's 55. This angle of 30 would be more like this. So that looks more uh, proper. This is 30 degrees. That's 200. That's 122. Now it looks uh, about okay. All right, there's a part C to this question. Let me rub this out and we'll do that. Okay, part C, there's another story. It basically comes down to, there's two swimmers are here again. This time the person goes this way. We know they cover 141.4 meters and we know their angle is 45. The other swimmer goes off this way. And let's see, 55.6, 155.6. And their angle is 40. And this time they want us to find this length here. We'll call it X. Or they call it D. Well, let me call it what they call it. So, D. And, uh, right, how do we do this question? Again, we do triangles. This time we're not going to be able to get any right angles to help us out. Actually, you know what? We, yeah, we could. There's a couple of ways to do this question. And uh, we could, let me change color pens here. We could get a couple of right angles to appear here. There's a right angle triangle. We have a, we have a, this is a hundred. Uh, let me quickly jot this here. It's a hundred, that's 40, that's 155.6. We can find this length. We could do the same here and find this length. Well, that should be the same as D. That's one way to do it. Uh, there's probably other little ways around the triangle. But I'm gonna show you another way here. I'm going to use the triangle in the middle. There's no right angle. I think this is what they wanted us to do because they usually like to, to make us do a question with right angles and one without right angles. Okay, so I need to know some things here. That's, I need three things. I know, know this length. That's good. I know this length. Okay, I need an angle. I think this angle here would be the easiest to find. 180 Take away 45, take away 40, we're left with 95. Although there was other easy ones. If this is 40, then this must be 40. That's a, a rule about two parallel lines and a line going through it. This angle is equal to this angle. It's one of our proofs we need to learn. So that's 40. And again, this 45, well, this must be 45. So we actually know everything about this triangle, except this length. So it's quite easy to find. Uh, when we don't have right angles, we use the sine rule or the cosine rule. They're in, I won't write them out, they're, well, the cosine rule is a bit long, and I'm going to use the sine rule, so I'll write that out in a moment. Um, I wouldn't use the cosine rule if I can help it, so if you can get away with using the sine rule, do it, it's much easier. Here it is, it's A divided by sine A is equal to B divided by sine B. All that means is, because you sometimes see it upside down as well, all it means is a length divided by its, the angle across from it is equal to another length divided by another angle across from it. So how would I use this here? There's no point doing what I just pointed there. This length divided by this angle is equal to this length divided by this angle. I hope it is. Otherwise, maths is broken. You can check if you want. That's not used to me. I want to find D. So let's make sure D is in the question. D divided by sine... 95 the sine rule tells me that has to equal it doesn't matter which you pick there's enough info for both of them 155.6 divided by sine 45 this length divided by this angle must equal this length divided by this angle that's what the sine rule tells us all you need to do is uh, get d on its own let's move this guy uh, remember 
there's nothing special. If we move sine, it's hard. But we're not moving sine, we're moving sine of an angle. That's easy, that's just a number. Um, so we multiply both sides. Sine 95, that'll destroy over here. And it, we need to be fair, if we, if we multiply the left, we need to multiply the right. No, it won't destroy over this side. If we just put all this on a calculator, 155.6 multiplied by sine 95, divided by sine 45, and when all that goes into a calculator, it should come out as 219, which looks about okay, <laughs> in the drawing at least. And that's it, that's it. I believe that's all the parts. It is, I just checked. Uh, so that's all the parts. If I made any mistakes, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about anything I did, also down there, I'll, I'll try and help. Someone else might uh, be able to chime in and help. Until next time, have a great day.